Hello, my sweet grandbabies. Hey, Jennifer and Juliet and little Patton and Riley. I love you and I'm excited to come to you with another story today. And hello to maybe some of my early learning center friends. I sure do miss y'all and hope that you're having fun staying home with your mom and dad. I have a special book I want to read to you today. And some of you may have even seen this book. You might recognize it. Um, it's one that I love because it's very colorful. In fact, the name of the book is Colorful, and today is a beautiful, colorful day here um, in, my, in my, my front yard. And I'm in my garden out here, and I've got the beautiful sunshine and the green trees and the pretty flowers behind me. So I thought this would be a perfect place to read a book about all the beautiful colors that God has given us. So let's get started. Again, the name is Colorful, and it's Celebrating the Colors God Gave Us by Dorina Williamson. I love, love the illustrations in this book. So let's get started. Summer had finally arrived. Imani was excited to blow bubbles and jump on the trampoline and climb trees. She and her little brother Christopher were waiting for their friend Kayla to join in the fun. Hi guys, want to see who can blow the biggest, most poppable bubble? Asked Kayla as she climbed over the fence. There she is. And look at their cute little, their cute little doggie. And there's a trampoline. Have you, ever, have you ever jumped on a trampoline? That's a lot of fun. You just have to be very careful. Wow, look at my bubble, said Christopher. It's full of swirly colors. I've got colors floating my, in mine too, Kayla said, at, added. I never knew bubbles could have so many colors, said Imani. Look at all the beautiful, beautiful different colored bubbles. Have you ever blown bubbles? It's a lot of fun, and I love to try to catch them on my finger. It's kind of hard to do that. Well, you all are amazing bubble makers, said Granny Mac, walking outside to join the kids. Look, said Christopher, my bubble is ginormous and has 50 gazillion colors in it. How about that, said Granny Mac. Aren't colors wonderful? Mine has pink and purple, my favorite, said Kayla. Look, look at all the different colors. All, that's all the pretty, the light reflecting through all the pretty bubbles. I love it. Oops, let me find this page. Okay. Well, isn't that something, said Granny Mac. Right in this backyard, what other colorful things do you see? I see Mama's flowers, lots of orange and yellow, said Imani. Look at all those flowers. And look up here, there's a beautiful butterfly. Yellow sunflowers, little red flowers. Have you looked around in your backyard, your front yard or neighbor's yards and seen all the beautiful flowers that are blooming? I'm looking at some purple and orange ones right now over this wall behind my camera. I love them. In fact, they look a lot like those flowers. <clears throat> Kayla ran toward the garden and I see red tomatoes and green beans. Yum. Does gray count? Asked Christopher because I see a crazy gray squirrel running up that tree. Yep, gray is a color too, and I think it's rather a pretty one, said Granny Mac, patting her silvery hair. See, Granny? She's got some kind of a silvery gray hair. Kind of like the cute squirrel. It's crazy squirrel climbing up that tree. Oh, look, they're laying down, enjoying the sunshine. I love that, and the dog with them. Close your eyes, she said. Imagine if you couldn't see any of the colorful things around you. No blue sky, no white clouds, no crazy gray squirrel. Now open your eyes and enjoy the view. God did wonderful work, amazing, making his creation so colorful. Wouldn't it be sad to miss out on all this beauty he made? Imani looked around and thought for a second, yep, this is much better than being in the dark. It's so fun to look at the blue sky that we have today and think about how thankful we need to be for the beautiful creation that God has given us and all these beautiful days of sunshiny weather. I'm so thankful for that. <clears throat> you guys are probably thirsty after all that color hunting. Come have a snack. I want to tell you something else that is very special about God's creation. We just saw how God painted vivid colors he did that on purpose, making everything in the earth and sky a special color. See, Granny Max talking to tell him, talking to him about God and his beautiful creation. Look at that big mountain and the ocean and the bird flying in the sky. So pretty. Look, there's a whale. You see that whale jumping out of the ocean? <clears throat> 
Now, when God created people, he didn't make us all one color uh, either, did he? Asked Granny Mac. No, ma'am, God made my skin chocolate, just like yours, said Christopher with pride. That's right, chuckled Granny Mac. God decided chocolate was the right skin color for you. And Imani, even though you and Christopher are in the same family, you're created caramel colored. He created you with caramel colored skin. It's different than his. Look, look how pretty. See all their different colors of skin? Isn't that neat that God gave us all different colors of skin and different color hair? It's kind of like the different flowers in the garden. It would be, it's just so beautiful to see all the different colors. It'd be kind of boring if every, everybody was the same color. What about me, Granny Mac, asked Kayla, her eyes wide. Dear girl, God decided you would look beautiful with vanilla colored skin and red hair, added Kayla. Absolutely, hair the color of the rising sun, said Granny Mac with a smile. Look at that. Look how cute. She's got red hair, kind of like I had when I was her age. And look, there's a, a woodpecker with a little red hair on top. God must love color to have made all of his of Earth's people with such wonderful shades. That's something to celebrate. We can celebrate all our differences, the color of our skin, the texture of our hair, the shape of our eyes, nose, and lips, Every single person is part of God's grand design. Look at all these boys and girls. They all look different, all different colors of hair and skin, and they're all perfectly beautiful because that's the way God designed them. Sometimes people say we should be colorblind and not notice the different colors of our skin, but God gave us eyes to take in all his wonderful colors. Why would we want to be blind and not see them? So, if we aren't colorblind, then what are we, asked Kayla. Granny Mac declared, well, our eyes are full of all the colors God made, and our hearts are full of celebration for all that color. So that means we are colorful. Yeah, baby, we're not colorblind, we're colorful, said Christopher. Look, there they are. Look at that, do you see the raccoon peeking out from behind the tree? And look at those pretty pink flowers. They're very colorful. Oh, look Look at Granny Mac. What has she got in her hand? You know what else has color? Asked Granny Mac. Ice cream. Whoopee, said the kids. Oh, look at all that. What color ice cream do you like? I like, hmm, I think I like them all. I think I like all different colors of ice cream. Look how pretty. Look, said Imani. All our ice cream is colorful too. Look at that. This looks like, like maybe mint chocolate chip and strawberry and vanilla and chocolate. Yum, yum. That makes me kind of wish I had some ice cream right now. Being colorful sure does taste good, said Christopher. Look at Christopher eating his ice cream and his little puppy wanting to have some. I agree, said Granny Mac. Being colorful is one of God's sweetest gifts. They're all hot, sitting under a nice shady tree enjoying their ice cream. And that's the end. We need to remember that Psalms 139.14 says, I will praise you because I have been remarkably and wondrously made. Your works are as wondrous, and I know this very well. That was a praise to God. It's in our Bible that helps us to remember that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, and God makes each of us exactly the way he wanted us. We need to love everybody no matter what color they are. I love you so much and I hope you enjoyed this book and maybe you'll get to read it again when you get back to school or maybe when you come visit or I think I've made sure my grandbabies have books at home so hopefully you'll find your book and you can read it at home with your mom or dad. I love you all so, so much. I hope you are enjoying these beautiful days at home and in the sunshine. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.